Hello! I am Bentham and this is episode 4 of Kerbal Space Program Career Mode and today we're going to be um, quite ambitious. We are going to try and go to the moon. So if we go into the vehicle assembly building you will see that I already have something built. Here it is. I've called it Apollo 1 because I have no imagination when it comes to naming things and I couldn't think of anything better. Well this Kerbalo but that's been overdone far too many times. So, um, hopefully this will get us to the moon. We are... I, I think maybe we were, be, were being a bit preemptive here because it is only the fourth thing ever to be launched, but um, I, I feel confident that it'll work. I mean, it doesn't have struts, um, we haven't invented fuel lines um, and things like that, so we were somewhat limited in the design that we could do, but I, I'm, again, I'm confident that it will work. The design up here is basically the same as the previous one, but we've added a couple more batteries and we've moved the pods around a bit to fit on these. So the way it will work is this is the launch vehicle that will get us up to orbit and probably also partially on the way to the moon. Then we will land with these and then um, take off with this, I expect. Something along those lines. That's definitely the order it will go in. I don't know how far each bit will get us exactly, but that's the, that's the fun of it. You build something and then you see how far it will go and you hope that nobody dies. Okay, here we are as it loads up. It's a little bit wobbly because it is balancing on two engines as it is there. Just yeah, let's say if we haven't invented launch clamps either, that's probably quite a priority. But all these things will we will probably get from the science we will gain from going to the moon, assuming we make it to the moon. So, we will activate our SES Actually, I don't think we'll throttle up very much. We'll just because these SRBs should carry us for the beginning of the journey. So let's go. Okay, we do need a little bit more engine power, maybe a lot more. It is a little bit wobbly. They are kind of there's a there's a little bit of kind of bending round into. Yeah, it, it it'll be fine. Nothing's exploding. I've forgotten the episode timer, like I always do particularly important in this one because I'm not sure whether to have it as one or two episodes because going to the moon is quite a big thing and it does take some time maybe I'll do some editing anyway we are going at a pretty decent speed As we're going a little fast for the atmosphere so that's that's probably a good thing because once these SRBs drop we may be a bit short on on pushing power this central stage doesn't activate until these have finished which may be a bad idea I'm not sure I haven't tested this design I just threw it together and and press play or record okay it's nearly time to drop the SRBs and come on there of the go. Okay, so we are losing speed despite being at maximum thrust, so maybe I misjudged just a little bit how how much engine power we would need. If we had some some fuel lines, I could have run fuel into the in yeah, into the center stack and had the center engine running and it would have been a problem. Okay, we're we're starting to pick up speed again. It's fine. We're up to 10 kilometers. Let's start doing our gravity turn. We want to get a low orbit because it helps, I believe, in getting to the moon. It's There's a way you can sort of slingshot around the planet that you're on. Basically, the closer you are to the surface of... Well, the closer you are to the center of mass of the thing you're orbiting, I believe the more efficient your burns can be. I think it's called the Oberth effect, but I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm just a KSP player. What's that up there? Is that Minmus? Did I mention there's a second moon? It's called Minmus. We'll go there one day. We've got this place to go to first, wherever it is. Where is the moon? That's the sun. There's the moon. We're going there. Eventually. Okay, that's that stage done. And this stage. And this stage, why does... that's the second time in two launches that I've had to double tap the button to get it to go. Okay, so let's have a look at the map. 
Oh, random staging noise. That has nothing to do with anything there. Get all this information up. This time we weigh 16 tons. Hmm. I don't think we're accelerating quite as fast as we could be. This could be a problem. What I will do is pull up a little bit. Because while getting horizontal speed is really important once you're in space, you need to make sure you're in space first. Which at the moment we're having a little bit of trouble with, so maybe this design is not the best in the world, but I... You, you can't fault me too much because we are missing various vital parts for building rockets that can go to the moon. I mean, we've got landing legs and we've got parachutes, that's all you need, right? Landing legs to land on the moon, then parachutes to get back to Kerbin. Okay, it looks like we're going to be alright, assuming we have the fuel, which I think we... Oh, actually, we are already halfway through the stage. And we will now be two-thirds of the way through the stage. Okay. This was supposed to get us into orbit and maybe also get us partially on the way to the moon, so I'm not particularly confident about this. It's a little bit embarrassing to if, if we were to have a failed mission this early on in the series, especially considering how long I've been playing this game. I've been playing it for over a year now. I've been to the moon millions of times. Where is it? There it is. Okay, looks like we're going to be alright. We'll get into orbit, it's just a case of how much fuel we will have when we get there. So I will point horizontal. And we just want to extend... Oh, we are out of fuel on that stage. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Fire these two. These engines do not have a lot of thrust to them. We should have plenty of fuel now. For things. I hope. I'm getting very concerned. Thing is, while I do have plenty of experience getting rockets to the moon in sandbox mode, I don't do that much career mode stuff. So... When it comes to building with a limited number of parts, I'm not necessarily so experienced. Uh, things we haven't invented docking ports yet, so we can't refuel this before it goes to the moon. So it does look like I have screwed this up, so... Yeah. Should I still make this an episode? I'm not sure. By now you will know my decision. Okay, so we are nearly halfway through our moon landing fuel. And we still need to gain quite a bit of speed for an orbit. Right, that's a good enough apoapsis, so we will wait until we get there and then finish our orbital insertion burn. We're out of the atmosphere. We're on the horizontal line. And we have a periapsis. Oop. And it's above the atmosphere. So we have a proper orbit now. But the problem is our fuel because in each of the two tanks, which you can barely see because it's night, we have a third of the fuel. And the thing is, we can't necessarily start using this fuel during landing because I need to transfer it manually, and then we'd get imbalanced and tri tip over and die. Right. So I may have buggered this up. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the drawing board and launch up one of these, but this time with all its fuel in it. So I will be right back. You may get 
a, a sped up view of what goes on. I don't know. I I I don't care. Just, just give it a minute, and it'll all be fixed. It'll all be fixed. I'm gesticulating wildly at the screen, and you cannot see it. Okay, back in a moment. Okay, and we're back. So I um, added a couple of extra bits just to make the, the rocket a bit more powerful, and th this time I got us up with only a small amount of fuel loss, as you may have seen in in a super sped up little bit that I added. I, I don't know whether I'll do it. D do it editing Bentham. It'll be awesome, maybe. Was it awesome? It, it may not have been awesome. Anyway, so here we are. I, I've waited till sunrise so that you can see what the, the thing and how majestic it is and... It, Sort of weird looking, but it, it, it's functional, that's the point. Well, it's probably functional. So, what we need to do now is get ourselves to the moon. So, the first step in that is to set the moon as our target. And uh, we are off, our orbit is off from its orbit by 0.7 of a degree, which should probably be fine. We can always fix it if it isn't. Okay, we shall. Well, we've set up a maneuver node, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed, and we're going to work out the most efficient, well, something like the most efficient way to get to the moon. So it looks like something like that, and that will get us um, to one and a half million meters above the moon's surface, which should be fine, and then we can slow ourselves down into moon orbit, so we will swing around and point ourselves at the maneuver node Ooh. so it's a little fiddly trying to get it exactly on to lean into the screen and tap all the keys there we go, that, that should do actually that's terrible it, it'll be fine, you can always fix it later on so our estimated burn time is one minute and 12 seconds, so we want to start the burn um, 36 seconds, I believe, from the maneuver node. From the time of the maneuver node. And I'm hearing lots of wind. Oh, I've bugged. While I wasn't paying attention, I, w I, was, I was paying attention to the microphone and I missed the time when we should have started burning, but it's alright. Because we're not NASA and, and getting things slightly wrong is fine. I don't know whether I moved my microphone while I was filming that little extra in between bit that you may or may not have seen. Oh, by the way, this is Apollo 2 now because Apollo 1 is still there in orbit for a very long time. It's also got Jebediah in it, so here we have Bill, who's very happy to be the first astronaut other than Jeb in space. And he's going to the moon, so I expect Jeb is not happy. But he's in orbit, so he, he can't get to anyone at the moment. 
So we'll just continue this burn. Try and keep ourselves on the manoeuvre node. The controls are a little too responsive. You can switch them to fine control fine-tune control mode. But I don't do that very often for some reason that I'm not really sure of. I think it's because it's the caps lock button and I'm fed up of playing KSP and then going out and typing something in somewhere and like getting through a sentence to realise it's all caps. Oh, oh, slow down. Okay, we did overdid it a little bit, but that's fine. It just means we get nearer to the moon. Okay, we will cancel that manoeuvre node to clear up all the lines. And off we go, warping to the moon. Once we're high enough for, for it to let us. There we go. On our way. Where's Kerbin? Well, there's the moon. Where's there it is. Bye-bye, Kerbin. Hopefully see you soon. <laughs>